All right, I'm back with the Bible study. Woo -hoo, woo -woo. <laughs> this one comes out of Nahum. I think I'm saying that right. One verse, uh, chapter one, verse seven. And it says, the Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. Uh, like when you read through that, I mean, it's such a short verse, but when you dig into it, you break it apart. Um, I mean, it just, it carries a lot of weight. So the first part, the Lord is good. Bam. <laughs> He's good. You know, the God is good there. You know, uh, even Jesus, when he was on the earth, he did not compare himself to God being good. Um, that's an interesting verse. Uh, I've had, um, a long time ago, I had a dispute with my, uh, my mom of all people. Um, but Jesus said that he said that no one is good except for the father. And, uh, I think that's because Jesus was, uh, in his earthly human form, I assume. So anyway, but the Lord is good. Uh, what does that mean to us? It means that like everything good in this world, the love, the caring, the hugs, the, the, the stuff that is pure and lovely. Those things, those things are God. God is good. The next one part of it is a refuge in times of trouble. He is an impenetrable fortress. It's hard to say that word impenetrable for me, <laughs> but anyway, um, he can't be moved. He is there for you in, in your time of trouble. In your time of stress, anxiety, worry, doubt, shame, he's there. Uh, and I've been in going through a lot in the last few months, uh, work related, and my mom passed. Uh, you know, I know she knows knew knows knew the Lord. Um, still knows the Lord because I know she's in heaven. I know she's with Him. But there are a lot of things that you know can hit you in your life. But knowing God is there with you. And I bring this analogy out uh, to some of my friends occasionally, but the disciples, when they were in the boat and they were sailing across, I think it's the Sea of Galilee, and the storms um, started to grow, they started to become scared, and then they see Jesus walking on water, which they think is a ghost at first, and they're, they're freaking out. And you're like, why are they freaking out? Like, they've been with Jesus this whole time. They've seen him do miracles. But it's different when you're the one in the boat. It's different when you're the one going through stress and hardship. And and it. some people like to, you know, they like to think, well, you know, I, I'm going to go extreme here, but I don't have any legs. Why, you know, you just have a bad day at work. Why is it so bad for you and not bad, you know? And it's these arguments that you can run around. But what is what you are going through is real for you. So don't let anybody talk you down and, and tell you that your problem isn't important because it's important to God because he cares for you. Um, which gets us into the next thing. I do want to round up that last thought though for a second. Um, the fact is, is that Jesus, when the disciples pulled him into the boat or he walked in or whatever, Jesus was with them. And that's, that's the difference. When we go through trials and tribulations, which the Bible says we will, um, when we go through those, where is Jesus? Is he, is he close to you? Do you do, is his arms around you? Are you huddled under him? Are you taking shelter in him and his word? Or are you drifting by yourself without friends, without you know people to lift you up, without people? God there interceding, Jesus interceding, the Holy Spirit there for you. You know, those are the things that you need to consider when you're going through those events. Because people like to think that Jesus is going to rescue us from all of our woes and all of our hurts and all of our anxiety and all of our worry and doubts and shame and all this. I think he, make, he lets us go through those things so it builds us to whom he wants us to be. Uh, I don't think he he does it because he's a cruel God. I think it's because he he's building our character. He's building us up so that we can impact others. 
because without the church impacting others, uh, the hands and the feet of the Lord are not there to care for others. So, and the last part, getting back to that last part, he cares for those who trust in him. God cares for us. God cares for you. God cares when you're going through a hard time. He cares when you're going through a rough time. He is there with you and he cares about you. He wants to help you, but you've got to look to him. And, you know, when uh, Peter walked out and walked on the water with Jesus, when he started to take his eyes off the Lord, he started to sink in the water. But when he, he reached out, you know, he reached out for Jesus and Jesus reached for him and pulled him in and saved him. Uh, there is a point in our lives sometimes where it feels like we're drowning, uh, feels like walls are closing in, feels like we're in that quicksand that we saw in the 1970s, early 80s TV shows that we never see in reality. <laughs> But it feels that way. It feels like we're going through a lot in our lives. And he cares for you. God is good. He is your refuge. He is your shelter when things are bad. He is there with you if you keep him close. So anyway, that verse again is, The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. A lot of times, just lastly, we, um, there's this battle between faith and action. You got to have faith or you got to have action. And I am firmly a believer in faith and action. The action here is, is that you have to trust in the Lord. Uh, you have to stay close to the Lord. The Lord is there. He's always there. He never leaves. He never changes. He's, he's always the same. It's us. So uh, I encourage you to, if you're not walking with the Lord currently and you're a believer or you're, you've been struggling and you want to be a believer, uh, being a believer is easy. Uh, living, living the believer in life is not necessarily that easy. But the Bible says, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, your whole heart, <laughs> your body, whatever, believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. The second, I would say, caveat to that is, is, one, turn from your sin, and two, start living like the Lord directs us to. Start obeying his commands. So anyway, be encouraged today. Know that the Lord cares for you. Know that the Lord is good. Know that he's your shelter. And when things get tough, you've got God next to you. You've got You've got him in you. And if you're a believer, um, we are the temple of God. Um, look it up. I'm not making this stuff up. <laughs> uh, and, and you know, seek the Lord. But also, if you don't have friends, you don't have Christian friends that can encourage you and mentor you and, and you do the same for them, uh, this life is even harder. So anyway, find some Christian friends and uh, reach out and, and pray for them and them for you. All right. God bless you. Take care. And I hope you have a wonderful day.